Now that we know the importance of fresh water and how scarce it really is, let's talk about watersheds. What is a watershed? Well, I learned that a watershed is an area of land where all the water that falls on it or moves under it drains to the same place. That includes all of the rainfall, streams, and groundwater heading to a common area, such as a river, a lake, reservoir, or even the sea. So you can think of a watershed as a bathtub, where all of the water drains down to the same point. It's kind of like that, just a gigantic and oddly shaped bathtub with earthen walls. It's important to remember that water, because of gravity, is always trying to make its way down to the lowest point. Water will go over, under, around, or through anything in its path as it moves downward. See, when I was here before, we looked at a map of the mountain ridges and hills around here, and at the very top, water either goes one way or another. The ridges and hills that separate two watersheds are called the drainage divide. Yeah, let's take it one step further. The watersheds for New York City are part of the larger watersheds of the Hudson and Delaware rivers. These two rivers contain lots of smaller watersheds. All right, check this out. I grew up playing in a little place called Sligo Creek. Now, that creek watershed feeds into a larger body called the Anacostia River. The Anacostia then joins into the even larger Potomac River, which then feeds into the Chesapeake Bay, ultimately flowing out into the Atlantic Ocean. So at any point in my childhood, I was in the Chesapeake Bay watershed because I was in one of the smaller watersheds that ultimately flow there. The Chesapeake Bay watershed is gigantic, covering six states and the District of Columbia. Everybody lives in a watershed, and it's called your watershed address. You can find it on the Environmental Protection Agency's website, Surf Your Watershed. Put in your zip code or city name. You'll see the name and number of the stream and river that makes up your watershed address. If a drop of water falls on your street or lawn, this is where it goes. So this little trickle of water will join lots of other trickles that become streams and rivers and eventually provide gallons of clean water to millions of people in the New York City area.